Hi, welcome to the video on Manhattan distance. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain what is Manhattan distance, differentiate between Manhattan and Euclidean distance, describe when to use Manhattan over Euclidean distance. Now in the last video, we looked over the most conventionally used distance metric, which is Euclidean distance. If you go about solving every clustering problem that there is, using Euclidean distance metric will get you through nearly all of them. But there are scenarios where Euclidean distance starts to falter and performs suboptimally. Even though these cases are very rare, they can still appear in distance based problems. Let's take an example to understand this better. Consider the game of chess and chessboard. Now, consider that you have a rook piece at b1 and you want to calculate how far is your piece from e4. If we simply calculate the Euclidean distance between the chessboard positions, the distance would come out to be e minus b square plus 4 minus 1 square, that is 3 under root 2. But we know that this is not the actual distance according to the rules of chess as a rook can only move in either vertical or horizontal directions and not diagonally, Euclidean distance in this case fails to capture the right information as it focuses on the shortest path available but that is not the way how a rook moves. Similarly, if you are working with some geographical data which comprises calculating road distance between houses as shown below, Again, in this case calculating the Euclidean distance is not the right way. That is because Euclidean distance is the shortest path available, but the road is not available for that shortest path. So we can see that in general, Manhattan distance is suitable for grid-like datasets. So let's first put a definition to it. Manhattan distance is the sum of absolute differences between the two points across all dimensions. Now, this might seem difficult on first reading, but it is very simple to understand. Let's now take an example to understand this. Consider two points in one dimensional space, A at position P and B at position Q. If we wish to calculate the Manhattan distance between these points, it can simply be calculated by subtracting one point from another and taking the absolute of that. Now again, consider two points but this time in two dimensions. In this case, what do you think we'll do? We will first calculate the absolute difference along the horizontal axis and then absolute distance along the vertical axis. And then we will simply add them up. Now using the natural intuition, what will be the formula if we extend this for n number of dimensions? It will be P1 minus Q1 plus P2 minus Q2 and so on up to Pn minus Qn. Or if generalize this into shorter notation, it will become as shown on the screen. Here, n is equal to the number of dimensions and Pi and Qi are the data points. Now, if you would notice, the difference between the Euclidean and the Manhattan distance is very similar to that of mean RMSE and ME, which we discussed in the evaluation metrics. If you recall, we discussed that RMSE is sensitive to the presence of outliers as compared to MAE. Or in other words, RMSE emphasizes the larger values as compared to MAE. Something similar happens in the case of Euclidean and Manhattan distance. Euclidean distance is sensitive to distance values that are large in magnitude as compared to Manhattan distance. How is this a problem? The simplest way to understand it is that as the dimensions of the space increases, the distance between the particles filling it increases. In this case, dimensions refer to features or variables. This might seem very vague, but the mathematical intuition is out of the scope of this training. But if you are looking to know more, you can follow the link provided in the helper text. Simply put, whenever you are dealing with an algorithm that requires a distance based metric and the data has a very high number of dimensions or variables in it, 
it is highly recommended that you checked out Euclidean and Manhattan distance. You may be surprised by the results. So that's it in this video. Hope you like it.